Welcome to Serif Draw Plus. In this simple tutorial, I'll demonstrate the powerful PhotoLab, a dedicated studio environment included in Draw Plus that makes it quick and easy to fix and adjust your photos. To open a PhotoLab, select any photo on your page, and then on the Picture Context toolbar, click PhotoLab. For ease of use, the filter stack on the right contains some of the most commonly used adjustment filters. To apply one of these filters, enable it and then adjust its settings. The buttons at the top of the dialog let you switch to split screen mode so you can see before and after versions of your image. You can also use these buttons here to zoom in and out. You can click this box to disable and enable filters. To reset filter values, simply click Reset. If you want to completely remove a filter from the stack, just click the X button. Additional image adjustment filters are provided on the Adjustments tab. Click a filter to add it to the trial zone displayed beneath the filter stack. The trial zone lets you adjust and preview a filter before applying it. To replace a filter, just click a different one. If you like the results, click Commit to add the filter to the filter stack. At the bottom of the window, the Images tab displays all of the pictures in your Draw Plus document. Let's work on this image next. First, I'll remove the default filters as I'm not going to use them. This isn't necessary, but it will make it easier for you to see what I'm adding to the trial zone and to the filter stack. The Effects tab provides a selection of categorised effect filters. To apply an effect, simply click it to add it to the trial zone. Of particular note are the artistic effects, which let you turn an image into an instant masterpiece. On the Favourites tab, you'll find a selection of presets. Some of these, such as sepia, are created from a single filter, while others use a combination of filters. For example, if I click the old photo effect, you'll see that this adds black and white film and vignette filters. And I can click in this box here to adjust the colour of the vignette. If you apply a combination of filters, or set particular filter values, you may want to save your filter profile for future use. To demonstrate this, I'll add the Metropolis effect. And now I can save this, together with the old photo effect, by clicking Save Filter. I just name my filter group, and now over on the Favourites tab, you can see that my new filter profile has been added. If I now select a different photo, I can apply these same filters all at once. OK, I've finished adjusting my photos, so now I click OK, and there are my adjusted images.